Hello, this is Hans van der Kwaas, Senior Lecturer at IoT Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'll show how to add the white box tools to QGIS. So you can use over 450 tools from the processing toolbox. It also supports other software than QGIS and has a standalone tool, but in this video I'll focus on installing it in QGIS. On the website you'll find a lot of examples on how to use these tools, what are the applications, like here in uh, Precision Agriculture or having shadows in the DEM. The developers are John Lindsay and Anthony Franchoni, and uh, they did a great job in making these tools and making them available as open source. And most of the tools are about terrain analysis, hydrology, and uh, LiDAR. So you're going to download the tools and you need to choose the operating system that you use here. I use Windows 64 bit. You can fill in the form to let the developers know how you're going to use it and who you are. But it's uh, voluntary and you can click uh, submit and download and then uh, save the zip file. And after downloading, you can open the zip file and extract it to your hard drive. And I extract it to C. So I have the folder CWBT that will contain uh, the executables. Now there are some instructions on uh, how to uh, then integrate it in QGIS. Here you see some more examples of the nice things you can do with this tool or with this toolbox. And uh, in uh, future videos I'll show some more applications. So we are going to install it for QGIS. So I click here on learn more to see the instructions. And uh, white box tools are very well documented, so that's also very useful to help you in your analysis. And here it gives some instructions on how to install it. It is not available from the regular repository, so you need to copy this link. And then in QGIS, you need to go to Settings in the Plugins Manager and click Add. Give a name to the repository. I'll use the name that was suggested. And then paste here the link. And the rest you keep as default and now it loaded the plugin repository that we've just added and now you can find the white box tools for processing click install to uh, install it close the dialog and then go to the processing toolbox and there we need to change a setting before we can use it so the plugin basically connects QGIS to the executables, but it needs to know the path. So here in the settings, you can set the path and you can browse to the place where we have saved our executables. So that was on C in our case. There it is, and I point to the white box tools executable, click open and then OK. And from now on, we can use those white box tools from the processing toolbox. And as you see, they are categorized. And if you expand them, you'll see that there are many tools added now to the processing toolbox that you can use. For example, for stream network analysis or for LiDAR. And uh, for sure, I'll make some more videos on demonstrating how these tools can be used in practice. 